Bitcoin got rejected at the exact level right here which I have been pointing out in yesterday's video and in today's video guys I want to have a better look into the short term time frame of Bitcoin. Can Bitcoin see another drop right here and maybe even break out of this range to the downside? What are the possibilities right here? Which levels do we need to watch? And what are other charts telling us or other signals which we can see on Will Portal? But we are also going to have a look at the S&P 500 because the S&P 500 might be the chart which will yeah, already predict before Bitcoin basically chose a direction which direction Bitcoin is going to go. So guys, all about that in today's video. With that being said, my name is Jeroen. Welcome to the Blockchain Today, the channel where you subscribe for daily crypto videos. Right now, let's jump into the Bitcoin price action. Of course, as always, before we are zooming in on Bitcoin, make sure to smash up that like, make sure to subscribe down below. And yeah, let's let's go for it, guys. First of all, I want to go to the four hour time frame because I want to show you how you could basically have recognized that Bitcoin were to see a rejection from this level and that we are going to see lower levels. That is due to the RSI, the relative strength index. If I bring out the relative strength index and we have a look at the price right here, then we what we basically can see is that we have a drop right here in the price. We form a local bottom right the level that i've been pointing out in previous videos as well slightly below 18.6k we do the same in the relative strength index we got some form of a bullish divergence right here lower low in the price higher low in the relative strength index and then we basically see that the momentum indicator is retracing farther than the price so we see the price going slightly up right here touching the resistance but we are seeing that the relative strength index goes way higher up than the price and that means that the relative strength index is retracing farther than the price normally that is a bearish sign because that shows us that the relative strength index is creating space for bearish momentum we have a kind of uptrend right here i can draw it a little bit more neat with a um, with a trend line Sh let me show you what i mean right here if we connect these lows right here we can see that we also lost that uptrend in the relative strength index so yeah that is also showing us that there might be some bearish momentum entering bitcoin and like i've been pointing out in yesterday's video that is not that weird due to the fact that there is still a cme gap below us and it is possible that bitcoin first wants to fill this cme futures gap before we actually can see that bounce or a nice rally in the bitcoin price um so we will have a look into that as well if we go to the daily time frame things are actually looking slightly better to be honest if we zoom out right there then we can see that on the daily time frame the relative strength index formed kind of a double bottom formation we had a low we had another low at the same level but as you can see in the price we made a yeah the low in the price was way lower than the previous low in the relative strength index if you would compare those two that is actually a good sign showing us that this potentially is a double bottom formation where we can see sooner or later a bounce off however guys this is not yet confirmed uh, definitely not confirmed this is just one of the early signs on the daily time frame that we can see that we might see some bullishness we also get a uh, buy signal right here on orion's belt however these things are not confirmed unless we're breaking some key resistance which we haven't done so far and do take in mind this is the daily time frame so we could also do something like this where bitcoin is going to see another low right here maybe a higher low but in the in the price it could see something like this where we would surpass this low right here and we create in the price a lower low but in the relative strength index we could see a higher low which is a bullish divergence that could be the start of a reversal a short-term trend reversal maybe a long-term trend reversal that is definitely possible um, but right now we are not yet seeing those signals confirmed so that is very important these are for now these are just probabilities but it looks like 
um, that it, that it might be possible for Bitcoin in the shorter term time frame to still see lower levels. Also, when we have a look at Will Portal, guys, and I'm scrolling down, we can see the Bitcoin balance on exchanges right here is increasing. Normally, that is a warning signal showing us that more and more Bitcoin are being sent to exchanges, most likely with the idea or with the intention to sell. So that is something just to take in mind right here. Another thing I want to point out is, yeah, you, most of you guys all uh, know about this probably, but that is the hash rate. We had an inversion of the hash rate, which basically means that we are seeing capitulation among miners. And normally when we are seeing a inversion of the hash rate, it can create selling pressure on the price of Bitcoin. But often when we are seeing the inversion, Bitcoin is already quite close to the bottom. So right here, we are not often seeing another huge selling pressure occur. Uh, no, that often happens in the begin beginning of that inversion. And the interesting thing right here is that the moment we we yeah, turning back into normal levels right here. The green line goes above the gray line again, and the inversion is um, yeah transferred into normal lines. Then we get a buy signal right here, and a the buy signals over on the hash ribbons have been his historically a very great predictor of Bitcoin rallies. I can show you a couple of them, but yeah, basically. Every buy signal, most of the time, came with a short-term rally um, in, the, in the near future. So we have here, for example, a buy signal that created a nice rally right here. Here we had a buy signal that was right before this massive rally. Here we got a buy signal. We got that rally uh, right here. Here we got a buy signal as well. We got a nice rally. Here we got a buy signal. We got a nice rally. So this is not... Uh, as you can see right here as well, it is not predicting the bottom because Bitcoin still can go or see lower levels. However, it is sh predicting most of the time, almost in 100% of the cases, that Bitcoin is going to see a rally. So if you want to play safe, you can also wait for a buy signal over on the hash ribbon. I think right now, definitely uh, one of the safer bets is to stand on the sidelines and to wait until you see a nice moment and to jump in. Uh, or, or, or of course, if you have a long-term vision, you want to accumulate right here. Definitely, these are great levels to accumulate, in my opinion, not financial advice, but we are like, uh, right now, we are approximately 70% from the all-time high. And you can say that, uh, yeah, previous corrections, we've corrected to 80% from the all-time high. That is true, sometimes even 90%. But we also didn't got that parabolic blow of top phase right here, which we got in previous bull markets, which could be an argument that the drop right now is not going to be yeah, 80% or 90%. So take that in mind, guys. I think the levels that we are seeing right now, if you have a long-term vision, are great for accumulating Bitcoin. Of course, if you want to trade in the shorter-term time frame, be careful. Um, but if you do so, make sure to use Will Portal to make sure that you are in the shorter term time frame, have a good grip on the markets. And if you are interested in trading with leverage, also on the spot market, I have several exchanges which I'm recommending and using myself as well down below this video in the pinned comment and in the description. If you sign up using my specific affiliate link, you will get an additional bonus. And yeah, the bonuses right now are going up to 12,000 US dollars. So that is actually quite nice. If you, um, if you want to take advantage of that, you can find all of my links down below. Then guys, I want to bring you to the S&P 500 because the S&P 500 has been so closely correlated with Bitcoin. And I want to go to the daily time frame. And I want to have a look at the structure right here because the structure is actually looking quite interesting. And the structure right here on the S&P 500 might be a early predictor, early indicator for what is happening with Bitcoin because of the correlation, right? When the S&P 500 goes up, trust is in, uh, trust is in the markets, risk on assets going up including Bitcoin. So guys, when we have a look at the S&P 500 on the daily time frame, then we can see that we have a falling wedge formation right here. We have a narrowing pattern declining, which is a falling wedge formation. Most of the time it is a bullish formation, which means that technical speaking, 
uh, the probability of breaking out to the upside is more likely than breaking out to the downside. It's like 60%, 40% roughly. Uh, but what we are seeing right here is very interesting because within this falling wedge formation, we get a nice bullish divergence over on the relative strength index, which means lower lows in the um, price, higher lows in the relative strength index. We also see that on Orion's belt, and we also have a nice bullish divergence on the MACD, which means that here we have a yeah, divergence as well. Another interesting thing, guys, uh, which I wanted to share with you is that this was a potential head and shoulders formation. So we got the left shoulder, head in the middle, right shoulder right there. This is the neckline. Uh, we got a potential breakout, breakdown, so to say, but that one failed. So we put so we had like a wick down below and then we went back into this pattern. So normally if we have a false breakout, that is a sign that the likelihood is increasing for going into the opposite direction. So right now I have to say that this is actually the S&P 500 looks like it's setting up sooner or later for a bounce for a rally right here for a breakout to the upside at least if we have a look at the probabilities it is higher right here to see a bounce which means that we are going to see most likely that in bitcoin too but do take in mind guys that we haven't seen a breakout yet this is also not confirmed at all because we still could do something like this where we tap another time into support and then uh, afterwards see a breakout to the upside another thing that you can use is on the relative strength index we got a uh yeah we have a triangle formation right here what we often see is that the triangle formation on the relative strength index is breaking out before we are seeing it in the price so it is possible for example that we are doing something like this getting squeezed into this triangle formation then we break out of that resistance right here so we see a breakout in the relative strength index. However, that hasn't happened in the price. We didn't see that breakout yet here. That's possible. But this can already be a early signal. Okay, most likely we are going to see a breakout to the upside. It is time to open a, a long position. Uh, or if you are if you are analyzing Bitcoin, you want to be watching this chart as well because this chart just tells us so much about what's happening with Bitcoin due to the correlation, right? The more evidence you find for a certain scenario, the more confidence you can be as a trader that that certain scenario is playing out. If you think, for example, Bitcoin is looking bullish, uh, we have we are seeing a bullish structure, but you see a very bearish. Uh, structure on the S&P 500 you might want to reconsider your analysis on Bitcoin but if you for example see something bullish in Bitcoin and the S&P 500 is confirming that it will strengthening that similar scenario guys if you are interested in trading the S&P 500 you can do that over on Prime XBT that is an exchange which is offering uh, trading the S&P 500 using Bitcoin as collateral right now they made a special bonus for subscribers of the blockchain today which you can find down below in the description you can get an additional deposit bonus of 7,000 US dollars so guys this was basically the um yeah, the analysis of today level that we are watching to the upside is the level of approximately 22,000 US dollars, 20, 21,900, 22,000. That's very important level. That's the first resistance. Afterwards is coming the 200 week moving average. Uh, levels to watch to the downside is the low of the range right here at 18.6K. Do take in mind that we still could see a fake out to the downside without decisively leaving this range. Okay, so to fill that uh, CME futures gap that we are seeing right here on the Bitcoin futures chart, let me show you. We have a CME futures gap opening right there. I've been talking about it in yesterday's video, and as you can see, it looks like it looks like we sooner or later want to come down and fill that gap like we do with all the gaps but also take in mind there are some gaps above us um, which also means that the likelihood is very likely almost a hundred percent for bitcoin to turn again as well and to fill the gaps to the upside we have seen this already for so many times um, but yeah right now is just a question which gap are going to be filled first to the downside or to the upside like i said i'm seeing right now i'm I'm, of course, you know, long term, I'm bullish Bitcoin, but right now I'm just seeing some 
Yeah, some signals like the Bitcoin balance on exchanges and so on. Bitcoin's price or relative strength index retracing farther than the price. That is slightly more bearish. So that's why I say watch out short term. We could see some more downside. Um, but yeah, definitely watch the S&P 500 because in the midterm, I think Bitcoin is definitely overdue for a big, big bounce. But we first need to get some signals like the buy signal. We need to get we need to break above some resistance levels that's very important but okay guys that was it for today's analysis i hope you all enjoyed it if so smash up that like button very much appreciated if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel that's also very much appreciated i want to wish every single one of you a awesome day today and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video